Hello everyone, my name is Sean Arnold and today I'm bringing you another Z rank guide for a parallel quest in Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Today's parallel quest is Great Ape Festival, PQ52. For this quest you're going to be fighting against three great apes which are Nappa, Vegeta and Bardock Transformed. The hidden wind conditions are to clear it in 10 minutes and then you will fight against a time patroller who will spawn if you have done everything correctly and got enough points. This mission is a weird one in my opinion, fighting great apes uh, is, um, well, yeah, it is, I don't think it's very fun in my opinion, I think they're kind of easy and kind of bland, but um, they they won't, you can't do what you I would normally do for this quest in order to get a Z rank, you have to try and do things a little bit differently. Um, if you want Bardock's battle suit, you can try and get that from this one, and there's also Tyrant laser, but I don't know if the rewards are too really, I don't know, really. eh, it's an okay mission, whatever, let's just get started with it. Okay, so there are four areas to this mission. There's Sky, Wasteland, Mountains, and then Pod Landing. Uh, you start off in Sky, and it, whilst you're here, there are no enemies here, but the, you might come back here a little bit later on. Now, uh, once you've got full key and you're ready to go, head towards this gate here on the right, and then you can go towards Wasteland. The first ape you're going to be fighting against is Great Ape Nappa, and you want to focus on certain things. The first thing I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to do five ultimate attacks, with Nappa here. So, um, I'm not going to do all five on Nappa actually, I'm just going to do three on Nappa. But, um, I'm going to try to do, sorry I lost my explanation there, but I'm, I'll, I'll do three, try to kill all three enemies and then two just extra to get five. So, um, I've done, what is it called? I've done, uh, sorry I'm losing, I'm completely rating terrible here. Um, I've done two on Nappa so far. Now, before killing, I'm going to try and focus on something a little bit different. I'm going to try to do five evasive skills by with him in proximity. I'm using Angry Shout, which is a really good move, in my opinion, if you like strike supers. But uh, whatever one you have works well. Just do five super attacks. If it has to touch the enemy to land, make sure you're in proximity or whatever works for your evasive skill. But just try to do five of them in the mission and that will get you some evaluation criteria. One particularly called Evader. Um, so that's about three done so far. I'm gonna use rise to action to get a bit more stamina. Using one there, that's good timing because he just did an attack. And uh, let's. I think that was four. That's five. Let's get. Let's do one more just for luck because I kind of I'm commentating terribly and whatever. There's one more there, and there we are. Now at this point, I'm just gonna kill off that part. So I'm gonna use my favorite uh, ultimate attack, blue hurricane. And this will just chip away his stamina and um, his health. And they're so big, they really don't... Um, yeah, they really can't deal with Blue Hurricane. Before heading off into the next area, I'm going to build up my key and stamina again. And I'm going to look around for some items. Usually quite a few can spawn in this area. I think I found three, four. Wow, that's really good. If you can get five items in a mission, you will get the Treasure Hunter Evaluation Criteria. Which is always fun. And you can always, um, you always get some more points for doing that as well. Plus you get some items in the process, so hey, why not? Try to do this uh, quickly though, so I will pick these up, find out wherever the last one is, and I'll see you in the next area called the mountains. Okay, so at this point, we really should have kind of done all the evaluation criteria we need to focus on here. So right now, I'm just going to kill Vegeta as quickly as I can. Let's wait for him to do his jump, and let's use the Blue Hurricane. And these guys, they're so big, they can't really handle Blue Hurricane, it just... It chaps them inside and it just destroys them. Um, I'm actually just curious to find out if you're watching this. Has anyone out there had any issues with the Great Apes whatsoever? I feel like they've been kind of disappointing in my opinion. They, I wish they were a bit more of a threat. But they're so slow and predictable. It's, yeah, it's not really fun to fight, you know. And uh, Bandai Namco, they've done some really more fun bosses, say, with the Naruto series. So uh, I expected a little bit more fun with these guys. But, um, hey, either or. So, I picked up one more item in this area because I only got four in the last one, making five. So, now I have five for Treasure Hunter. And now I'm going to move on. Okay, this last area is Bardock. And again, I'm just going to use Blue Hurricane and wipe him out. There we go. Spin, spin, spin. Not really much to say. It's just kind of easy. Kind of disappointing that this is one of the last couple of missions in the game. Really not, not much of a challenge. 
Speaking of not challenges, when you're ready, get some, make sure your health is nice and high. You don't even need it, to be honest with you. Key and stamina should be high, and head off into the sky area to fight the last enemy. Okay, the last enemy for this mission is a time patroller, as was stated in the wind condition. The time patrollers really aren't very strong at all. I mean, look at his health here. Hi, Brian. Blue Hurricane. Bye, Brian. And there you go. The parallel quest is done. Really not a challenge at all, this one here. Kind of disappointed. So, there you go. You don't really need to do much for this mission. You've got uh, uh, outnumbered. You get fight, fight by yourself. Treasure Hunter. Evader. Ultimate Attack Finish. And Expeditionist. And Vanquisher. And that's all you're really going to do. So, yeah. An easy one this time, I'm afraid. Uh, hopefully, it's been a help to someone out there if you needed it. Um, if so, or if you've at least enjoyed watching this episode, please leave a like. It's always useful to get feedback from you guys, so leave a comment. Um, helps us direct the channel to make content which people actually want to watch and not things people don't want to watch. So, you know, that's always helpful to hear, hear from you. Or if you even if you just want to say hello or ask a question, I'm around here pretty much 24 hours a day. So, I will try to get back to you ASAP. Oh, or also, please, if you are um, new to YouTube and you're commenting, please make sure you've gone to Google Plus and make it so that people can reply to your comments. I've had a ton of people send me messages that I can't actually click reply to. It's a dumb feature on YouTube, I know, but um, um, just make sure that you have got your settings set correctly. Anyway, um, you can always hit me up on Twitter if that's easy for you, at the Arnold tweet, if you want to send a message there. I'm always just chatting about random things on that one. And last of all, as people like to say, subscribe for more if you want to see more Dragon Ball Xenoverse content. Um, yeah, that's enough of me prattling on, I think. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Much love, take care, and goodbye. Congratulations, you made it all the way to the end of my video. So just for you, just for you, we're going to have a new character battle for this week. Last week, I posed a question to you all. Which transformation from the new Dragon Ball Z movie, Revival of Frieza, do you want to see the most? And with a whopping 100% of the votes, Smurf Goku took away the prize for that battle. Sorry Frieza, you're not going to be able to beat Goku this time. This time I want to propose a different type of question to you fine folks out there. When it comes to the ladies, which bee do you prefer? No, not those type of bees. I'm talking brains or brawn. Bulma, the smartest woman on earth, or Chi Chi, the strongest mother on earth. Who do you vote for? Click on a picture right now to submit your vote and I will tally up the results and put them into a video next week.